What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? Bowden the Great here. I just put out a video recently on how to download, or not how to download, but the best mods to download from my time at Sandrock. And I wanted to do a follow up because I had a couple questions regarding how do you actually do this. And it's actually pretty simple. Um, first thing you're going to do is go to nexusmods.com, which you can see up here. I'll also put it in the description below. Once you're in Nexus Mods, you'll see that there is a very wide assortment if this is your first time messing with mods altogether and games you can choose from. But first thing you're going to want to do is obviously search for the game you're looking for, which is My Time at Sandrock. And then boom. Here it is. Click on that. And you have all these, the list of you know different mod options you have. I like to usually just search by popular. And so here you have your list, which is what a lot of these are the ones that I actually had downloaded. But first, next thing you're going to do is find your mod, click on it. But before you download any mod, make sure that what you're downloading is, a, you know, what you want. Um, and also just read about the configs and the technicals about it. Because this is kind of where the important information is. Because if you just download this straight up and try and throw it into, you know, your file, it's not going to exactly jive. So... You notice here it says to install this mod first install bpnx for my time at sandrock then place the dll file and bpnx plugins that might seem a little bit confusing at first but do not fret all you have to really just do is find the bpnx once you get that it pretty much spells out what exactly to do to find it so all you're going to want to do from here is just click on the manual download i don't have the fast download premium so i just go a slow download takes five seconds which to me is not really not that slow but boom it should be done here you go there she is along with the other mods that I downloaded from here though you just want to kind of just leave this folder as is open up your actual game right click on my time at Sandrock go to properties and then under local files this is where you find your actual game file you could do digging if you know where it is but this is just the easiest way to do it click browse and you could actually see here that I've got it already installed and due to my laziness I don't want to you know uninstall everything and then redo it but basically so once you've got the BPNX Unity installer downloaded you're going to notice that in the directions it says right here pretty much if you go back it says something on the lines of oh good god so it says simply copy into your games folder beside the unity player dot dll which is exactly what you see here so this is it right there this is the file that you're talking about once you get this here you just extract it and then boom this will pop up i don't feel like having to uninstall it and reinstall it so this is just what it, it is what it is you get that run it once double click it boom it'll run it'll install into my time in sandrock you'll get this notification saying that it's installed from here, and this is what I'm not 100% sure because that is, like I said, I kind of just lazily threw this together. Either you have to run the game at least one time after you've successfully installed this, or you, or it'll automatically create this BPNEXE, which this plugin folder will have nothing in it until you actually start loading it up. So pretty much once you've got to this point, you can actually go and start downloading mods. So if you go back to... So if you go back to say you want to download regeneration manual download just as before slow download it's ready here it is in the folder just like before boom so you can just drag and drop regeneration into there and then once you extract it it will literally just create this file right here this dot dll file which is what you want in the actual game you can go ahead and if it obviously mine's already there so it's not going to extract but deleting that and then you should be good to go once you fire up you should have that already installed there's nothing that you actually need to do to make sure that you you know turn it on or whatever else um, you do have the option if you want to go into config you can mess with the different you know, I'll drag this file here but you, if you want to play around with the different um, you can change the different rates and whatnot if you want to go with you know change that up you can um, play in, to, in the config files, but for the most part, I like to just leave it as is because if you touch things, then you know it may mess up something. So and break the the mod. It's not going to ruin the game, but it'll just kind of break the mod, and the mod won't work correctly. 
Um, so just if, if, if that does happen, just go in, delete everything, and then re-download it, and it should be fine. But yeah, I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions or this was not super clear, if you need something you know expanded upon, please drop it in the comment section below. Um, and all, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of this my time at Sandrock content or just any content in general. See you next time, YouTube.